Hi Virgo, this is your check-in energy check-in. This is your check-in energy check-in energy reading. And I will also be seeing what comes, just basically whatever comes through, giving you some guidance. But I'm going to also tap into maybe feel a bit more internally as opposed to anything that's going on externally. So some of it's going to be around your self-care and spiritual guidance, angel messages as well. Um, I posted a couple of days ago um, angel messages, signs, themes and... Um, I think you'll benefit from seeing that video so I will check that video out it will also help you and you might have been seeing signs lately that might help you it might bring sort of oh I've been seeing that sign that's what it means or I've been seeing the sign I'm gonna actually look out for anything that arrives with it now um, I have a feeling I, I'll tell you I'll tell you as the reading goes on but um, let's check into your energy. Um, some of the things that I've been getting is um, that you recently might have been ignoring a situation or um, a person, um, or this is coming up. Um, you could have been dealing with someone with tattoos or a fire sign. Um, I feel like you've been needing to rest more. Um, you might be getting important mail or package. Um, I do feel like this is going to turn into a bit of a healing, um, not a healing session like I give to my clients, but um, just some real guidance on stuff for you. Let's see what comes up. Now, please do check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for a complete and accurate picture at this time. Uh, the other signs have been uploaded, some are still pending to be uploaded. Also check your general Feb monthly because you will get specific messages in there, seeing as we're still in Feb, uh, time is linear, and there's a past, present, and future, so you can see where you are in the theme, and also check the elemental readings, the astrological shift, um, I think I'll be doing it on Monday or Tuesday, as soon as I feel the energy shift, uh, but the one that's uploaded is until the 15th, to be honest, I don't see a major shift, until the 18th now i am recording this for you the day after mercury goes into aquarius saturday so um in some regions it is saturday in some regions it's just past saturday so um you might have felt an energy shift there um i think for you you're mutable so possibly not too much but if you suddenly you felt a bit different then the day before then that's why but yeah this gives you the the astrological week gives you a heads up of how you may be feeling um and like always i like to keep it simple check the shorts out the specific messages for you in that and also check the shorts that are not only for virgo for all your placements as well as um the elemental and affirmations that really go a long way especially when i tie them in with the weekly it help you because they're tied into your houses as much as I can tap into with the astrology. So uh, that being said, let's get on with your reading. Oh, the world, how beautiful is that? So you're closing out a, uh, a cycle here and there is going to be a new opportunity coming your way. Um, there is a gift coming your way. Something's coming to fruition that you've been working on. Um, and the, the universe has your back, has seen your hard work and is bringing in this, uh, this energy, the Queen of Wands. I mentioned that you could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, this could also mean that somebody uh, very passionate, very alluring is in your space right now. Someone attractive, maybe you're attracted to someone at this moment in time. Um, so a new opportunity is coming your way. Um, I'm going to get clarification on the Queen of Wands as well, but let's pull another card. The King of Cups. So I do think that this, this could possibly be love. Um, uh, and it, it depends where you see yourself. But uh, these two are really, one is very, you know, ambitious and one is very creative and in a very sort of hot, attractive, 
<laughs> the King of Cups, on the other hand, is the person who is also emotionally balanced and um, is able to give but also fills their own cup. So I'm going to get a clarification on this as well because I was feeling from the start that maybe uh, there's going to be something around your own healing here or taking time for yourself. Um, so let's keep going. The Empress. So with this, there's definitely either you're stepping into this aura with the Queen of Wands and the King of Cups um, being very attractive at this time or somebody around you is very attractive. So for example, if you're a male attracted to a female, you could be uh, very, looking very handsome, etc. But you might think, oh yes, I've got a crush on this person or this person has been very attractive and they're very alluring. Uh, they're in their divine feminine power. This could also mean if you are with someone, just be careful because I feel like things may be heated. There could be a pre uh, pregnancy on the horizon, fertility on the horizon. Um, I also feel with the Empress, it's not, uh, it's, it is um, a Taurus, but uh, I feel like you are owning this, this. So can I get clarification for the Queen of Wands? Uh, some of you, I'm getting this, that you need to watch your speed while driving, the speed limit. Let me know if that resonates with Hermit. As I said that, this is your card. So, um, firstly, this is a very powerful reading because the cards we've got on the deck, it's extremely um, positive reading for you. Um, and you've pulled your own card, your own energy is in this. Um, I do feel this is telling you that you do need to rest more um, because I was picking up on that. I think there's a need for you to focus on the present at the this moment in time. Um, there is a tower and I think this tower is to do with what I'm going to say around the healing, to be honest with you, around um, sort of... Uh, Closing out a cycle around maybe emotionally there's something that's been troubling you. Someone or something has been, has been feeling regretful, um, disappointed, um, disappointed, saddened. And um, make sure you're being self-compassionate with these cards on the deck. Um, make sure you're indulging in self-care, ace of wands, self-care and... Um, healing is especially important at this moment in time so we've just got the six of wands the ace of wands and the knight of cups something is definitely we've also got the world card here you've got amazing this so with the tower there is something and um i feel with the tower there's something that's raw and i think that's where you need to do some self introspection i really feel that at this moment in time um are some of you seeking other people's approvals uh, um, and always just waiting for validation and praise to come in for you to know your worth? Um, I'm seeing a need to lower expectations that you have placed on a person or a situation possibly um, where you're maybe pleasing other people and um, neglecting your own mind and well-being and now we're kicking into what i was feeling was probably going to be very specific for some of you and maybe this reading's turning a bit specific so there might be elements for other people that they will take some of this reading and some of you it will be very much what you've needed to hear from a to z um, and that's why this message is coming through especially for you obviously from your spirit guides and angels uh, I'm delivering this to you. Um, some of you may be looking for others, like I said, external sources, fixes uh, to make you feel whole. And I think it's important for you to um, fill your own cracks. Don't doubt your self-worth here. Don't doubt your self-worth or your self-confidence. You should feed yourself a healthy diet on these things, like the Empress does. Um, and you you know, self-love, self-kindness, self-confidence is really highlighted at this moment in time. Now, I do feel with um, the Five of Swords, there has been the disappointment, I'm going to put it near the Tower card, 
But I think where I said there's a new opportunity coming in, this is definitely coming in. There's something coming in for you and there's recognition coming in for you. I think what needs to do is you need to um, have your self care and that's going to actually open this door up for you. Um, yeah, eight of wands. There is something coming in for you. There's a lot of fire energy, which I was picking up. There's a fire person possibly, or you've got fire in your chart, but this is where you've been working hard and your confidence is coming back. Should you work, you know, take this time to, for um, sort of introspection and really just heal yourself against whatever has happened or whatever has knocked you down. Um, I'm going to pull your spirit animal, but if I think of one for the time being, just as we flow through, by the time we get to the end, end of the reading, could be another one as well. Um, but I'm getting, one of the animals I'm getting is the owl, um, could be your guide, and I'm going to give you the owl as your wisdom, um, asking you to trust your inner calling. Look at this temperance Sagittarius. Um, I was feeling heavy, <laughs> uh, fire sign, temperance, someone very attractive. There's definitely some of you who want to get pregnant, there's pregnancy on the horizon. Some of you that are active that don't want to get pregnant, just be careful because there's a lot of fertility here. There's a lot of new cycles. There's a lot of uh, rebirth here. And I feel there's a, uh, with this and the Hermit card, as well as um, the world, the Ace of Wands, the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups, it's really about um, ask trust and quiet your inner wisdom like the hermit does and knows exactly what you need you know because you are this hermit and i always look at his lantern and he look at it it shines the way for him but it's guided from his inner inner voice um where you might speak over this voice or talk yourself out of knowing uh I see major themes of ascension here. I see something coming through for you and growth. Um, we can see it. And there's recognition here as well. Um, I do think there's uh, possibly a good love connection or relationships fruition or something new coming in. And this, this I feel is very solid. You may experience, obviously, you may experience some um, solitude and healing. Look, really confirming that you need healing. Um, and I think this is about navigating the in-between state of seeing life from a new angle and waiting for the opportunities to move forward into perfect alignment here with what we have. So, uh, you know, it's it's actually beautiful. You could be also dealing with Aquarius or have Aquarius heavy in your chart as well. We are moving into Mercury's moving to Aquarius. Like I said, there's a shift, so that could be potent here. But this is really, the star is also a wish fulfillment. It's this new opportunity. It's all this coming through for you. Um, love, opportunity around creative endeavors. And um, Virgo, sometimes you can continue to work hard and just always be on routine and liking things in a structured way. Sometimes you do need to give yourself a break. And it might just be about that, tackling your own sort of, um wanting to do some stuff in a certain way let's pull some cards from this for you virgo all placements or virgo or anyone called to this reading please some guidance in terms of health into inner health just despondence so this is really connected to your third eye um, but it's also, I feel, connected to your to your gut. So there's definitely where I've been saying in terms of your listening to your inner wisdom. There's so much healing and spiritual cards here with the star, the temperance and the hermit. Um, and I think it's really important. I'm going to pull up uh, despondence. I just want to, before I dive into it, I want to just confirm that it is... Uh, the third eye and what I'm getting because um, I feel it's once you go into that inner wisdom and you start to take action and navigate in the other direction um, you're going to actually feel the movement and encouragement and revelation that you're actually needing maybe at the moment you're feeling you know 
a bit helpless or with the tower or you know that you need to go into solitude but you're avoiding it and you're as opposed to solitude and time out and inner wisdom listening to yourself self-care self-confidence you're actually isolating yourself and feeling worse if that makes sense so i don't want to i don't want to um confuse taking time out solitude with um isolating yourself and feeling very much alone um so let's have a look yeah uh, the card teaches you that the only route out of stagnation is motion if we do nothing we accept the consequences in which part of my life am i feeling immobilized i know what i need to do am i willing to trust myself remember i said about trusting your inner wisdom and listening to it um changes on the horizon but take action so i do feel like there's so much you know this is really third eye because we said connect to your inner wisdom but i feel this with the world this there's the solar plexus here that's very important for you um at this moment in time and obviously if you're into crystals comment below and i can advise you on a crystal i'm very much you know because i use it on my clients for healing but also whether it's online or in person but you know some crystals are really helpful um for you vanity with this i really believe it's about seeking other people's approvals okay it came through don't seek other people's approvals on the way you need to go or superficial things just to have uh, that recognition or uh, or approval and really step into your authentic power with this i think there's something to do with voicing and being your expressing who you truly are let go of any image you're thinking to hold up workaholic i did say you need to take some time out so although i've said you need to take action taking action after you've taken time out to rest so that you are not overwhelmed and you're not in this state of however you're feeling right now, the things that we discussed, where you're in a more self-confident uh, time and place. Take time out with this, I feel, to have some solitude and do something you enjoy and like. With this gossip, um, it's heartfelt, but I don't, I don't think that there's gossip around you. I think it's more or less... Um, you, um, having appreciation and gratitude for what's around you but what's to come through what we've just discussed there's beautiful things there's so much like i actually feel the energy of what's coming towards you in these cards it's not just a tarot that i've pulled so that's really beautiful let's pull a spirit animal for you um obviously you've got the owl that i channeled as well in terms of your inner wisdom just giving you that confidence but i think we've got another one coming through so let's see what we get if you liked this, you resonated, please do let me know what resonated with you. Give it a like, subscribe, help the channel, support the channel. I would really appreciate it, seeing as um, I channel through energy and just use the cards to help confirm. Just remember you are loved and you are led. Giraffe, visionary. Rise above earthly matters, glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth, your self-confidence and live with a big heart. I think that really tops up and that's beautiful. So after your inner wisdom, that's what you're going to be doing. Standing tall in your right with self-confidence. We said about working on that. Um, I really liked that that giraffe card came out actually. It's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed your reading Virgo. And I'll see you in the next reading. Take care of yourself.